Well, with just five games left in the regular season, playoff seedings are still up in the air. Knicks and Bucks tonight in Milwaukee. The Bucks losers of four of their last five. Knicks were down 11 at halftime, but they took control in the third quarter. OG Ananobi strips Giannis Antetokounmpo, and then Josh Hart dishes to Isaiah Hartenstein for the two-handed slam, part of a 20-6 run for the Knicks. Jalen Brunson was his usual spectacular self in this one. Late fourth, Brunson hits the mid-range jumper. 43 points, eight dimes for him. Finally, how about Dante DiVincenzo with the dagger? He nails one of his eight three-pointers on the night. 26 points in all as the Knicks grab a huge road win in Milwaukee, 122 to 109. Hartenstein with a double-double tonight. So let's welcome in CP, the franchise, and CP... Brunson amazing again as he always is against the Bucks. Let's take a look at his numbers so far this season and tell me why do you think he's had so much success with this matchup? Joe, talk about putting the team on your back. First, with the matchup, when, when you see Damian Lillard and Malik Beasley for the Milwaukee Bucks, two subpar defenders, uh, that is dinner time for Jalen Brunson. <laughs> and so even though he was able to take the Bucks' best shot in the first half, Bucks played pretty commendable defense in the first half. Jalen Brunson still finished with 23 points. And then in the second half, Joe, it was about being the leader, being Captain Clutch, and putting the team on his back. This team, this Knicks team did not want to be denied. They saw an opportunity here to rise up in the Eastern Conference rankings. They failed to do so against the Chicago Bulls, and Jalen Brunson put the team on his back with 43 points and eight assists in a stellar outing, shooting 50% from the field. Great job by Brunson tonight. And so now they're just one game back of the two seed currently tied with the Orlando Magic for three in the Eastern Conference. Look, I look at the impact that OG Ananobi had. He didn't score a ton of points, but this guy does all of the little things for this Knicks team. Uh, what stood out for you tonight by OG. Hey, Joe, if you're a box score watcher and you see two for 10 from the field, you say, oh boy, OG Ananobi struggled. But when you watch the second half of this game, Four steals, two blocks is what you need to know about OG Ananobi's contributions tonight. The Knicks were able to turn 14 bucks turnovers into 16 points, and had, he was every bit a part of that. In spurts of this game, we saw a formidable defensive unit comprised of OG Ananobi, Mitchell Robinson, and Miles McBride just causing havoc for this Bucks offense. And so, OG Ananobi, they're going to need to give him some time to get his shot around as he recovers from the elbow tendon apathy. But tonight, defensively, was where he made his money and he was stellar in the second half. And the there, was, there was one good offensive rebound down the stretch here that he kicked it out to Dante for one of those threes that I think yeah. iced the game there. Guys all over, he does all those gritty things. All right, there was some question about how the balance between Isaiah Hartenstein and Mitchell Robinson was going to work when both were healthy. But so far, it seems like the Knicks are finding a balance. Uh, Hartenstein with 18 and 10 tonight. How have you seen the two fitting together uh, since Robinson came back? Well, this is right now, this is Isaiah Hartenstein starting five. 18 points, 10 rebounds. His effort on the boards in the first half was a key for the Knicks to keep this thing close. And then in the second half, he just hit teardrop after teardrop to get this Knicks offense back on track. And that is what Isaiah Hartenstein brings to this Knicks unit is offensively his versatility as a passer and as a scorer. He's been great. But then off the bench now, you have Mitchell Robinson who's able to slowly get back into a groove. And he had some signature Mitchell Robinson blocks in that second half a few on Giannis Antetokounmpo and so Mitch seems to be gaining his ground Isaiah Hartenstein has his role and the Knicks twin towers are going to be a formidable unit for them in the playoffs uh, and oh by the way in the midst of all this there's Dante DiVincenzo who continues to shoot the lights out eight three-pointers tonight when you consider that he was supposed to be a reserve for the, this Knicks team and is having one of the greatest three-point shooting seasons in team history how do you evaluate the the way this guy has stepped up this season. I evaluate it as another home run for Leon Rose and his regime. I think they still have. They have, next to the Jalen Brunson contract last year, this year Dante DiVincenzo's contract has been one of the best in the NBA. There's a stat out there that tracks net rating according to payroll, and the Knicks are one of the best teams in the NBA according to that stat. And you look at the production as da of, with Dante DiVincenzo. He's been electric for this team, and he's making on average between $11 million to $13 million over the course of this contract for the Knicks. Knicks. So uh, when you think about the next man up mentality that the New York Knicks have, Dante DiVincenzo has assumed that responsibility, and he's going to be a big factor for this team come playoff time. Oh, oh by the way, uh, Deuce McBride's contract doesn't look so bad all of a That's sudden right. uh, at the moment. CP, the franchise, always a pleasure, man. Thank you so much for the time tonight. 
Joe, thanks again and have a great week.